Hey y'all, it's Janine, and I want to show you a new uh, technique with nail polish that I've been working with, and it's really beautiful. You use a sponge and you do some stippling with the color, and it just adds such a beautiful depth and dimension to your nail polish. And I also did some stamping with this, and of course I used my Conad stamping system. And I used a couple of Bundle Monster plates. Uh, one has a nice little leaf design to it. And the second one has a little bit of a fern design, has a little couple of fern branches there. And the polishes I worked with are Sinful Colors in San Francisco, Sally Hansen in Elegant Cognac, Wet and Wild in Black Cream, and that's uh, Avon in Rose Supreme, and Wet and Wild in Burgundy Frost and of course a clear top coat and on my nails I started with an orange that's sun kissed but the orange that is actually on my nails here is in crushed by Sally Hansen and you just start by painting um, the deep dark purple color which is rose supreme in this case and you just paint that onto a cosmetic sponge and just stipple it directly on top of the orange color and you can see it tones it down dramatically. That orange just is a really nice background color because the other colors really pop on top of it and again working with a light and then going to a darker color is what really helps to add the depth and dimension and you just continue to stipple all the nails and then I go in with the burgundy frost and again paint it onto a cosmetic sponge and then stipple it directly on top of the deep purple color and it just really doesn't look like much here in this camera but as you can see from the photographs uh, it really does photograph beautifully and you can see the depth and dimension and tonality of all the colors uh, kind of popping through each other and again you just repeat the process on all nails once that's dried for a couple of minutes I'm going to go on to the stamping and for this for the uh, little uh, uh, fern stamper. I found that the green I was working with wasn't quite deep enough or opaque enough for the stamping process so I added a little bit of the black cream to it and mixed it and you can see I just mixed it there on the back of a stamping plate and you just paint it over your design and give it a little scrape and then pick the design up with your stamper and find the location where you want it on your nail and kind of line it up and gently roll it across your nail to transfer the design and I apologize you can't really see it here in this camera shot one of the things that I found was the nail polish being on the back of the little stamping plate like that as it dried a little bit it actually got easier to stamp with the color was a little bit deeper and uh, it was just easier to pick up with the stamper and transfer it so that might be a good tip there to kind of mix your colors like that or just uh, paint some out and let it dry for just a little bit and it stamps a little bit easier. So I applied this particular stamp to my thumb, uh, middle finger and pinky finger and then I took the Elegant Cognac and again mixed it with a little bit of the black. I still didn't get quite the depth of color that I wanted with this color I probably would have been better off using a deeper chocolate brown color because uh, what I ended up with was just it's very very faint and it just looks like a, a little bit of an embossment onto the nail uh, but I place this stamp on my index finger as well as my ring finger and the shot that I'm going to show you here you can see it a little bit when I pull it in close and you can see it a little bit in the picture shots at the end of the video but it just didn't come out quite as noticeable of a design as I wanted it to and then of course you just let everything dry thoroughly and then paint your nails with your clear top coat and this is where the magic happens because once you apply that top coat you can really see all the depth and, and dimension to the colors 
and the layering of them and it really is quite beautiful and again my camera is just not doing it justice it looks much better in the photographs but thanks so much for watching everyone and y'all have a great day